Hello, just a quick tutorial here following up from that other tutorial where we created a table in Maya. So I've just created the table like last time and what we're going to do is we're going to add a texture to it. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to come down here, click on this icon here, the hypershade slash perspective view, and we're going to add a new blin. And then what we're going to do is click on this icon next to the color to change the color and we're going to choose file. And then it's going to give us some file options and where it says image name click on the folder icon next to that and then what you want to do is you want to download yourself a wood texture press ok and select our table and then we hold if we hold down our right mouse button we get this menu and we want to press assign material to selection okay well that's going to give us a result straight away which looks pretty good it looks like a shiny table but what if we want to make it a bit of a rough table like a, you know that sort of thing well what we're going to do we're going to add a bump map so we'll click on our texture it's going to give us our options again click on the icon next to bump mapping choose file again and what we want to do is we want to create a bump map file so the way we're going to do that we're going to use photoshop you can use any um, photo editing program because it's a very simple procedure we're going to change it to black and white image adjustments black and white and press ok then we go image adjustment levels so we're going to boost up these whites and crush some of the blacks like that press ok and then we're going to go file save as desk texture bump now black and white files work better for bump maps because basically the way it works is that the white is raised and the black is not, or well, it goes down. So then, on our bump settings we can click on where it says file and then we choose our file, choose our bump texture and we can see here that our texture has now got some stuff and if you're looking at this and wondering what the hell's going on here um what it is is it's it works if if you're used to node based stuff then it's similar to that you can press this icon here and it will arrange it for you in a simple way well it's not very simple but it lays it out nicely for you but the bottom line is this is our texture and if you just look at this this is a lot more simpler to look at here is just your texture um, and our bump, so click on the bump icon, we're going to set it to 0 0.1 because we don't want it too strong. And now, press the space bar, remember, to jump out of windows. But now we want to, oh, if you don't have the render menu option up here, what it is is because I'm in a different menu set. Here are your menu sets. You may be on animation, so you may see these or polygons I think um, animation is the default it could be polygons but you want to click on rendering and then you get the option to render render current frame it's not looking very bumpy is it in that case we'll increase our bump map we're on the bump settings to that this will probably go crazy now okay so that's a bit too jaggedy but I, I think I'd actually set it to zero so like I said 0 0.1 render current frame there you go it gives you a nice texture the light reflects off it I'll go into lighting in a different tutorial but the default light shows up the bump pretty well and there you go mess around make it look weird however download any texture you want put it on mess around with textures um, you can even use the technique I used to create the table to make like a vase that'll work and if you're still here just a thing I found in that Windows 7 has made it really easy for me to create a um, background slideshow of Megan Fox the way I did it was I created a folder called Megan Fox downloaded loads of sexy images of her highlighted them all right click set as desktop background and it automatically creates an awesome slideshow for you so if you have a bit of a Megan Fox fetish 
then that's the way to do it. Or whoever you want, whatever you want. Yep, I know I'm going to stick with Megan Fox. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Remember, I'm Dan Allen from Dan Allen About the Castle. Um, or youtube.com forward slash Dan Allen About the Castle. And there you go. Make sure you try out this as well.